welcome back. Today my video is a no makeup makeup look. So for those days like weekends where you don't want to have a full face of makeup but you don't want to go out with completely nothing, um, it's just adding that little bit just to make you look a little bit more alive and fresh um, and ready for the day. So it's really simple, there's nothing too too much involved, it's just about keeping it fresh really. Now actually before I start, on my nails I have on today, this is Essie and the colour is 885. So it's like a grey, beautiful, beautiful grey colour. Um, power Clutch actually, it's called Power Clutch. So that's what I've got on my nails today. So I'm going to start off by um, adding, this is the Cosmia Skin Clinic, um, it's certified organic rose hip oil. I just find I do want it to look really fresh and nice and this, adding this just keeps the skin looking really, not, not so much dewy, doesn't look oily or anything like that, it just really looks fresh. So just a couple of drops and mass that, massage that into the skin. So I've let that soak in for about a minute. I'm next going to pop on, um, this is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. Um, the colour I use is 40 Beige. So just give it a good shake. Just going to apply it with my fingers. Again, it's not meant to be hard work. This is meant to be quick and easy makeup. So just a little pea size like that. And just rub it between your fingers. Starting from the middle of the face and working your way out. Really massage that into the skin. I find this foundation doesn't give too much of a heavy coverage. It's quite light. Um, you can build it, but it's very natural. So this is why I think it's perfect for this look. It's actually my everyday um, makeup that I use. It's a really, really lovely foundation. Great for combination skin. And you can see how I use the oil before underneath. So if you are a little bit dry, feel free to use an oil. And that will also work really well. Now that I have the base, I'm going to go over it with a Tom Ford. This is the Traceless Foundation Stick in number 7 Tawny. It's quite big. And I'm not putting that all over. It's just in the areas that kind of need it most or where I have blemishes or anything like that. So just a little one there. Get there. Wherever you feel like you need that extra bit. You don't want to have it all over your face. Again, we're not meant to look like we've got makeup on. It's meant to just look really nice and clean. So this can also be used as a concealer. I've used it before and it's absolutely beautiful as a foundation and a concealer. So just with that same Stila Dome brush, it's the number 33B. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that under the eye. You only want to cover that purple kind of tinge that you may have under there. You're not doing a full Kim Kardashian conceal here. It's just a very natural, just to hide and not even hide, it's just to kind of counteract any of that bluish purple colour you may have. I'm also going to take a little bit of that with my little finger and just cover you also have a bit of a discoloration on your eyelid, so I just want to add a little bit of a foundation just to cover that. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. This is just a Christian Dior one, and we're just going to rim the top lash line. So right in there, just really rim it. I just want a brown because I don't want it to be black where it looks too dark. We just want a nice soft brown. It's going to make your lashes look thicker, fuller. Now I'm not going to add any eyeshadow. We want a no makeup makeup look. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and I really, really want to curl them. So spend some time doing it. Start really close to the lash line and then go a little bit further out, do the same thing. A little bit more further out, do the same thing. So you get a really lovely curl. It doesn't just stick up like that. So 
So I've really spent time in the lashes curling them. You can probably see the difference. I'm not even going to add mascara. I think that's enough. If you have very, very fair mascara, feel free to use just a little bit right on the edge to give it a bit of a lift. Actually, I'll show you. So all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of a mascara and just on the very ends where you tend to be a little bit more fair and blonde, we're just going to add a little bit there. So you really can't even tell you've got it on, it's just on the very ends. Now for eyebrows, I just want to roughly just fill them in. Um, I have a few little gaps, so very, very lightly, I'm just going to go through that. So they're the eyebrows done. Now on the cheeks, I'm going to use a cream blush. I just think it looks a bit more natural than a powder one. And we're going to use, this one's the Stila Convertible Lilium is the colour. So it's a really nice kind of natural pinky branding. Again, just with my fingers, this is such an easy uh, makeup to do. I'm just going to really lightly just pop that on. Again, we're looking for a fresh kind of flush to cheek. Now for the lips, I'm going to take from Sports Girl from their Pout About It range. It is the lipstick in Beauty Queen. So it's a really nice softy pink colour and really lightly just going to apply that. has a cream finish which is really nice too. It's very, very fresh. And that is it. That is my no makeup makeup look. The lip is a slight, slight pink tinge to it. If you don't want that, just use a lip balm, something that's got no colour, just moisturises your lip. But the rest is quite plain, perfect. The eyes are nothing. You didn't even have to add the mascara. Um, I just did because I just thought if someone's very, very fair, you probably want the ends to be done. But it's so simple and so easy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye.